Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. It is Monday, I think? It's Monday, right? Monday. Yep, it's Monday. Woo! How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. We got like 18 people watching. So, I'll probably have to say this again later in the video, but obviously we are now taking reserve spots for this booster box of Team Rocket uh, first edition booster packs from 2000 or something like that. It's like a 20-year-old box. The packs are $300 each, as most of you already know. If you're in the Discord, you already know. I will be cracking this specific box open. I'll have to take it out of its uh, plastic holder. And uh, we'll see what's inside. Hopefully a Charizard, Blastoise, and Dragonite if we're lucky. Hopefully some PSA 10s of anything. Because if you can grade a 10 on the cards that you pull out of here, a lot of people will be making a lot of money. Well, at least they'll be getting Poke Rich, right? Well, if you sell the PSA card on eBay, yeah, you will actually make money. So, whew, we'll move this to the side. I'll talk about it again later. We need a larger audience before I advertise that, right? Uh, I was talking about these on my TikTok. Put these over here. Where did I pull them out of? I think I pulled them out of this. Give me a moment. I'm going to put them back in. We're getting another PSA submission back. I don't know how soon it'll arrive. Maybe a week from now. It's a 100-card submission from a while ago. It's not a, it's not a recent submission, so... If you recently had your card submitted, don't worry, your card's not in there. <laughs> I'm gonna get like a bunch of questions in my Discord. Is it my card? I pinned the list with all the cards coming back. I pinned it in the general chat, so all you gotta do is check pinned messages. How's it going, Spanky? I've got my drink. It is Monday night, so I'm ready to Open up some cards and then probably work on some shipping. That's probably what we're going to do. Maybe we'll try to do what we did last time. Maybe we'll do uh, shipping at the same time that we're opening packs. I don't know. It, maybe it just depends on how busy we are tonight. Uh, some, so here's the deal. We, we, we've got this reserve list, list now. Where's a pen? I need a pen. I'm going to get to grab one from here. Actually, I think there's one here. Yeah, here it is. Shiny Mew. Don't tell my wife I'm buying a shiny Mew. I'm telling. I'm telling on you. This is Kenny. And Kenny, were you, were you purchasing two Shining Legends? I think that's what you're doing. So this is going to say Team Rocket. All right. So here's the reserve list. I'm at the top. Okay, so we have a reserve list. There are 36 spots total. Each booster pack is 300. Now, there's another thing that's going to be running. There's a new mystery pack. The mystery pack is for the Team Rocket game. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, the, the Rocket mystery pack. So, uh, I'm just going to say Rocket up here. Each spot costs a whopping $20, and that is because these packs are extremely expensive. So to play, you have to take a $20 spot, I'm afraid. Okay. I'm just going to call it the Rocket Mystery. So here's how this will always be running. Uh, every time this runs out, every time this cycle completes, I'm just going to start it all over again. Okay. So there's 15 spots. You have a 1 in 15 odds of winning. It's $20 per spot. This will give you a chance to win a rocket mystery, uh, a rocket booster pack for twenty dollars, but fourteen people will not win the game. One person will win the pack. That's how it works. So this is for people who maybe don't want to buy a whole pack outright, or you want a chance to win a pack. This will be running all the time now. Rocket mystery. Rocket mystery. That's going to be Keller A. You got it. This will be running all the time. The moment it runs out, we'll start it over again. Remember, these packs are going to be $300 each. The, the regular reserve list, $300 per pack, unweighed, unsearched. The day we open them, it, we're going to be, uh, I'll have the box sealed. So it'll actually be sealed at the beginning of the live stream. We'll break it open. One rocket mystery packet. Okay, that's spanky. 
We'll split it open. I'm gonna shuffle them up like crazy. So they're gonna be shuffled real well. Well, actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh them and then shuffle them. Spanky. Brian. L. Rocket mystery. Box of Cosmic. Sounds good, Tyler. Tyler's going deep, man. We'll talk about that as we go. We got a lot to talk about, guys. There's a lot going on today. So reserve list for the Rocket, the actual Team Rocket box and the Rocket Mystery, which will be running all the time. Let's get that Cosmic box. A box of Cosmic with bulk, please, sir. Box of Cosmic with bulk. You got it. It's $300 per booster pack. And I promise you guys, as time goes by, these booster packs will only get more expensive. It only gets harder from here to buy into a box like one of these, really. Rocket Muster. Rocket Muster. We'll get that right after this. So this is for Tyler H. He's going deep. He's opening up a whole box of Cosmic Eclipse. He wants all the bulk. Sounds good. Just got my priority mailboxes in the mail today, so I can ship all the cards. It's perfect. Rocket Saga says, what made you decide to open the box? Well, I've been saying this whole time that I want to offer you guys a wide variety of Pokemon cards to open. I want to get as many varieties of Pokemon cards as I can so that this Pokemon live stream is really an incredible experience rather than just focusing on a few cards. And so one of the things I have to do to get that moving is I'm going to be offering one really expensive vintage box probably all the time. Probably all the time. One really expensive vintage box. I've been telling you to add variety. I know. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Speaking of which, another thing I wanted to talk about today, Unified Minds is back. We've got Unified Minds in, uh, in the mail today. So Unified Minds are available if people want to go deep on the Unified. Unified Minds has a lot of great cards in it. It has Mewtwo. It has Dragonite. It has Tyranitar. Uh, it has Misty's uh, Determination. No, Misty's Favor. It has, I think it has Cherish Ball. So it's got one of the ball items. Uh, it's got Garchomp Giratina. I'm trying to remember what else it has. That's really interesting. So it's a pretty decent set. Psyduck's Slowpoke even is pretty cute. So it definitely has a cute factor. It's got Raichu Raichu. So that's Unified Minds. The price on Unified has definitely started to tick up. Uh, I think that Cosmic is still a much... If you're talking about strictly financially, I think Cosmic is still the best one. Uh, but Unified's fun if you ever want to just do Unified. How many packs come in the Rocket Box? There are 36 booster packs. 12 of them will contain holographic cards. And then the rest will not. 24 people will not even get a holographic. I'm going to do my best, though, to get you guys... If, you've got a, if you end up with a light pack, I'm going to help you as best as I can so that you don't accidentally open it. Because what you're going to do with your sealed light pack, you're going to grade it. And if you go looking for them right now, there are no graded Rocket Booster Packs for sale right now, which means their price is probably ridiculous. So you can still make money on your Light Pack. And if you were to just grade it and leave it alone, the price on it will go right up as people continue to open up those Rocket Booster Packs. Like not too long ago, those Rocket Booster Packs were like $150 each. Now they're 300. They literally doubled in price. So if you grade your Rocket Light Packs, because you know there's no secret, I mean, you know there's no hollow in there. If you grade them, they will continue to rise in value as people open the packs. It's really an ingenious way of getting value out of the Light Packs. So our goal, when we split the box, our goal is to extract all 12 of the holographics and to keep as many of the Light Packs sealed as possible. That's our goal. All right, let's do this, Tyler. He said he went all his book. You got it, mister. Anything you want. That's right. You can actually make money grading the commons and the uncommons. It's really unbelievable how much money can be extracted out of an old vintage box. Pretty unbelievable. Celestial Storm has not arrived. Sorry. It'll be here eventually. Celestial Storm has secret rare Rayquaza in it. I don't really like that set. I don't think it's very valuable. Uh, but I'm making it available. That's my job. I'm going to make them all available. 
have any packs been bought in the box? Uh, just mine. <laughs> Only one. The one for me. They're pretty expensive, but, uh, you know, I imagine now that people know it's available, they will have a chance to save up. Yeah, it's very expensive. Nobody just pulls $300 out of thin air, you know what I mean? So you can try selling one of your PSA cards off if you want to be able to get in here in time. I'm sure it'll take like a month to actually sell the box. It will take a little bit of time. And you know, as more people become aware that it's also available, really it's, it's just like the hundred of you, people in my own live stream that are aware of it, but as word, word of mouth kind of passes around, more people will know about it and uh, I'm sure it'll start moving sooner at that point. But it'll take a while. I, I, I figured it would take probably a month because I remember it took like two weeks last time I sold the box, but the packs were literally like half as expensive. And really, you should, you should think about that. Back then, the packs were half as expensive. Think about that. They were like 180, I think. You know, these, these packs, they just move up so fast because they keep getting opened. You, the best time to have opened all the vintage packs would have been early on before all the price change. And we're opening this vintage box right now and it's just going to keep moving, guys. It's going to keep going up. It's going to keep moving up. What do we got here? Florges, Lunala. Three, four. Heliolisk, Heliolisk. Have I missed any rocket openings? Oh, nice. You pull a secret rare Mega Low Punny Jigglypuff. No, no, we haven't actually split the box. T today we're starting on the reserve list. So the packs are now available for sale. That's what's really going on. So the packs are available for sale. Stuffle. Shiny's like, ah, I see. Here's Cottony. Blastoise Piplup. That's one of the better GXs to pull. Nice. So Mega Low Punny Jigglypuff Secret Rare. Let's see if you can get two Secret Rares in this box. It definitely happens with Cosmic. Once all the packs, packs are purchased, all the booster packs from the Rocket Box, only then will we open the box, all 36 of them. We got Bravaria and Vileplume. Okay, so the first half of the box included the Secret Rare, Blastoise GX, Naganadel, and Vaplume. Second half of the box will probably have a few extra uh, trainer arts in it, and maybe if you're lucky, another secret rare, but at least another full art, right? Let's see what we got here. Mega Low Pony Jigglypuff. Jigglypoof. We got Rapid Ash, Wishy Washy. Tyler going deep, man. Here's a green pack. Great start to the live stream, by the way. Thanks for. Letting us see you open this, man. That's really cool. Lit Leo, Weavile. Just opened a cosmic box and got depressed. You didn't get too good of pulls. <laughs> what do we have here? A low and meowth. I opened a box of depression. That's Vibrava. Turns into Flygon. I think Flygon is probably the worst secret rare you can pull in a box of these. Beware. Toss that over there. We have Sunkern. I got Ash's Pikachu with two white dots. Sticky says, who got this? Tyler H. did. There's Trap Inch. Wow, there's going to be a lot of trainer arts clustered together very soon is what I think is about to happen here. Sunflora. Jose says, with bulk, right? Yes, with bulk. With bulk. We got Cricketot. Weavile. All right. That's not Red's Pikachu. What? Next pack. Pikachu. Trying to complete the sets. Oh, nice, man. Trainer arts are going for some money. Lieutenant Surge just sold for like 50. I know. Here's the Piplup. Real cute. Blazer says, Hidden Face being reprinted. I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. It's good news, actually, maybe. We'll see, because I think they're going to sell out instantly. That's why I think. 
if we buy the rocket pack, do we get to decide if light we can grade the pack? Absolutely. So my goal, when we start opening the packs, my goal is to do everything I can to make it easier for you guys to know who got a light pack and who got a heavy pack. That is the most important thing to me. Celio, Flygon, are they printing hidden again? Uh, apparently. <laughs> what do we got here? Onyx Rosa. A four. Nice. Charizard Brexen Full Art. Terrific pull. Look at that. Oh, what a pity. It's a little off to the left. Otherwise, it's pretty well centered here and here. Oh, look at that. Off center. Woo! This is one of those chase cards in the box. Nice. So Secret Rare, Mega Low Pony and Jigglypuff, and Charizard Brexen is probably going to grade a 9, though. 9, maybe 8. Oh, and there's Red's Pikachu, and it's also a little off center. God, don't you hate it when boxes are a little off center? God, man. Not bad, though. Pikachu, Charizard, Brexen, and a decent secret rare. I have to say, I think the box was actually pretty good in the end. Perfect. I think you'll be able to get your money back out of that box easily. Easily. I mean, that Charizard, Brexen goes for a lot. All right, throw this over here. Okay. Bing Off Center is what's in right now. <laughs> So Tyler H., if you buy any more cards, uh, just remind me that you get your bulk for free from now on, okay? So until the next shipping round, you get you get your bulk included for free. Oops. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to open up a priority mailbox for you and just fill it up until it's full, and then I'll ship it out when it's full. He says, dope, thank you. No problem. Thanks for letting us see your terrific pulls, man. You got Charizard, you got Red's Pikachu, you got Piplup. Piplup's a decent pull. I like Piplup. I think he looks really good. You got the Blastoise GX, and, you know, you really didn't get too bad of a secret rare. So this is the most important card. One last thunder, sir, Mr. Flex. That looks decently centered. That's the most important card in the set is the secret rare. So that one might have a shot at a 10. And, uh, you know, Mega Low Punny is it's not like super, it's kind of niche because Low Punny, in my opinion. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like Slowpoke Psyduck from Unified Mind. It's really not a bad card. It's, it's got very much a cute, a cute appeal to it. So somebody out there will want it. Um, but it's not Flygon, which is good because Flygon is really not a, not a secret rare that I would want to pull out of this box. I think Flygon is one of the worst. And then there's a number of like trainer cards you could have pulled. They're okay, you know, like Power Plant or something like that, but they're not going to do as well as Mega Low Punny. So not bad. It's a pretty good box for you, I'd say. Not bad. Probably probably above average because of that Charizard and Red Pikachu. Too bad they were off-center, though. That's the only thing holding it back. If those were on-center, you would have just made tons of money on this box. All right, so give me a second. I'm going to go grab a priority mailbox real fast. Quick, quick, fell asleep on the couch. Quick, let's go look at her toes. Okay, so check it out. It's a priority mailbox. And I'm going to write Tyler H on it. Like this. Mom! So I know whose it is.
Hold on to your drums. If you got headphones, you'll want to turn them off for a second because it's going to be loud. Oh, that's the end of my tape roll. Perfect. Okay, and now we take your cards. You know, probably ought to have some padding on the very bottom of it. I'll do that ahead of time. So I don't have to do it when I actually should. Get that done ahead of time, right? Try to avoid having these damaged. Because realistically, I would have to do... Oh, you know, the reason I didn't do it for the other ones is because they weren't actually in a priority mailbox, were they? Okay. So we got some padding on the bottom. Huh? See? We're nesting. And now, I get to take Tyler's cards and place them in there. Is it English Rocket? Yes, it is. It's English Rocket. That's what it is. So check it out, Tyler. Look at this box, okay? So you got this box right here, and you can fill it all the way up with bulk from your pulls from now on, and you don't got to pay anything extra for bulk. And what I'll do is I'll hold on to this box until it's full, and then I'll ship it to you, okay? That's how it works to make it simple. Honestly, for people who want to buy a lot of cards in these live, live streams, it would be a clever idea to get one of those early. Okay, we're all caught up. After Tyler, Edson H says Rocket Mystery. You got it. So we have a Rocket Mystery game now for a Rocket Booster Pack. There you go. After Edson H, we have Emmanuel. How's it going, Emmanuel? After Emmanuel, we have Cap JP, one Lust Thunder, sir, Mr. Please. You got it. Lost Thunder. Very cool set. Do I got any up here? I got one pack up here. Good luck, Cap JP. May you pull all the secret rares. Gotta get that Suicune. One, two, three, four. And here's that additional pack. Let's see if that additional pack was hot. We're gonna find out right now. It might have been. It's always exciting when it is, because it's like, ooh, what if I had opened that? You know what I mean? Oh, it's a white pack. It could be hot. Let's find out. It did have a Blacephil on GX. Pretty cool. Look at that. He looks pretty well-centered, too. It's not bad. That was just a random pack from a previous box. Oh, these are packed differently. I wonder if these are first print run. These are packed differently. That's going to be Professor Elm's Lecture Tapu Finney. Pretty cool. Pack number two. That's a greenback. Well, I guess I won't tell you. I'll keep it a surprise. We've got Houndour. Number four. Hop Ip. Last pack. That was a white pack. Let's see what it is. Oh, nice. Pulling the Blacephalon Full Art, too. Terrific, man. Look at that. Whoa, it's so cool looking. I didn't realize how neat it was. Look at those waves. Very neat. All right, Blacephalon GX, Blacephalon Full Art. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. That was some good luck. Why is it every time I leave the house, my internet on my phone sucks? Speaking of internet, my internet has been acting very poorly. It cuts out for like a full five minutes, all right? So if the screen goes dark there's a and it, I don't come back right away, you know, like in the first minute, I'm probably having serious internet problems. Not just lag, but like internet problems, you know what I mean? Shipping stream. Yeah, tonight could be a shipping stream if you guys want it to be. Let's see. Cap JP. You're going to be over here, aren't you? Cap JP. There we go. Cool. 
Hey, mister, don't forget my Shining Legends. Time to get your Shining Legends. You got it, mister. Let's get those Shining Legends. Hey, mister. No problem. I didn't forget. I took a temporary lapse in time. A temporary memory lapse. I get to score, yo. I'm going to have me a bag on that desk in no time. <laughs> How's it going, man? <laughs> okay, we'll take this out. Mom! It's your favorite thing, huh? <laughs> Shining Legends. Who does this go to? This goes to... Kenny. Kenny, I'm sorry, man. How did I miss you? All right, so take one of these away. And let's get these open. How did I miss you? Do I collect the figures? You mean the pins? I do not collect either the figures or the pins. Just the cards. Focus all my money into one thing. That's going to be Verizium Minum. Ooh, what do we got here? A couple of poofy Jessies. Ah, tough luck, man. Lipard Palkia. All right, so those are cold packs. Those were cold. Sorry, Kenny. They killed Kenny. Here we are. Kenny's back here. Kenny, you got a nice little bag to ship. Place that right here. Wait till you've had kids what you've wanted. What? Wait till you have kids until you've collected what you wanted. <laughs> Collect your cards first, then the kids. <laughs> Getting life and priorities. Oh my God, you guys are too funny. All right. We're all caught up. We are all caught up. Well, I got some mail to open. Kenny says, just never going to happen. Oh, I'm sorry, Kenny. Kenny, were you going after the Shining Mew before? Oh, you were. That's why you said that. Dude, he's so hard to pull. I do not know what this could be. Hey, mister, my rocket mystery. Sounds good. Let me get that uh, right now. I'll do it right now. Tyler H., rocket muster. Did I miss it? I did. I'm so sorry. I'm a mess. Got to be a little more careful with this. So Tyler H., looks like I used the Sharpie marker, which means that you're bound to win. It's almost guaranteed. Cool. Um, to get a priority mailbox, they cost 12 bucks. Priority mailboxes cost 12 bucks. So if you wanted all your bulk from now on, it will be a good idea to pick up one of those. And then I won't charge you anything for a apocalypse booster. Apocalypse. What? What's going on here? Oof. More Lost Thunder. Cool. Cool. That came in a timely fashion. Halifax says, oh, can I do that then? You absolutely can. Let me go get you a box. Let me go get you a box. So where's that roll of tape? Is it back here? No. Better be in the drawer. I don't, I don't even remember where I put it.
Yep. There it is. Found it. All right. Have you guys ever used a tape dispenser? When I was a kid, I used one all day for like eight hours a day working for my dad. I was like a master of tape dispensers. By the time I was like 16, I was so good at it. Okay, give me a moment. So this is for Tyler H, right? Tyler H going deep on Double Clash. Some crazy streams these days, man. People buying whole boxes. It's crazy. I never really envisioned the live stream being this way. I always thought I'd just sell like five packs here and there. Short little live stream, two hours. People really like opening these. Can I get a penny sleeve with whatever is left? Yeah, absolutely. I put the wrong name down. Not Tyler H. Hollow H. Hollow F. All right, we got Hollow F on the side of the box. That's good. You said you you had a little left over, enough for a penny sleeve. That's fine. So here's a penny sleeve. It's gonna go in the box. Actually, let me get some padding on the bottom. Just like the other one. Okay, we got some padding. Put this right here. Cool. My whole family room is just going to be a staging center for all these cards that we open. Accidentally bought a German Dark Slowbro. Whoops. <laughs> all right. One Rebel Clash plus bulk. You got it. I should probably reorder the Rebel Clash already. Back here. Here we go. You ready, Tyler? Not Tyler. You ready, Hallow? Hallow's going deep. Let's see what he gets, guys. One, two. You are buying a spot for 20 bucks to get a chance to win a rocket pack. Exactly. Thank you for explaining it. Hopefully, people do not believe they're actually getting <laughs> a rocket booster pack for 20 bucks because that would be that would be me losing thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. I'm not going to give Sticky a PSA 10. What? You have a 1 in 15 odds of winning the pack. It's valued at $300. It's $20 per spot. Very simple. not really designed to give me any additional money per pack than what I'm already selling them at. It just gives you guys a chance to maybe have a booster pack if you really can't afford a $300 pack. Rocket Mystery sounds good. Okay, we got half the booster packs. Let's get the other half. Will you still ship my hot pulls in the main bag before I fill my box? Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking about doing with these bulk boxes. So from now on, for people who buy a lot of cards, you can have a bulk box sitting over here. So it'll be like a, I, I might change it to $13. I actually think the real cost is closer to 13, but I'll double check. Anyways, it'll probably be a $12 box. And then what'll happen is, as you buy cards for me, from now on, I just put your cards into the bulk box. I no longer, I no longer uh, toss your cards into a big pile on the side. You see what I'm saying? So that's actually great for people who really want their bulk for some reason. And, uh, you know, they don't, you know, you don't want to pay three bucks every five packs forever. You just want to pay up to 12 bucks. You see what I'm saying? Then once the 12 bucks are paid, you just get the rest of that priority mailbox until it's full. It's, it's, a, it's a decent idea, I think. I'll try to stuff it as much as I safely can. I don't want any of the packs to come out damaged. You know what I mean? Any of the bulk, but I suppose it's possible. All right, here we go. Maybe I'll make an asterisk that if they do get damaged, I'm, I'm not going to replace them. <laughs> They're just so damn heavy, dude. They're heavy. We got Metapod Snorlax. I think I paid more than 12, but it's cool. No problem, man. No problem. 
we got Butterfree. I don't know if I asked you this, but have you ever cut the cards with your scissor by accident? I've never done that. Never. And if I do, I'll just immediately replace the pack. We got Sonya Col Gol Galarian Corsola. That's what I'm trying to say. I think I was trying to say Gorsola. <laughs> we got Palo Sand. Grimmel Snarl. All right, this is a white back. What do we got here? Starting out with Ninetales V. Very good. I think the Ninetales looks very nice in this set. Thirty-four. There's Double V. Next pack. What do we got next? Turf Field Stadium. Turf Field. That's another green. Bronzor. I wonder if the energy cards could be like sold for something. You know, kind of like a raw material even. Shinx. But even if they went for like a penny per card, that just wouldn't have any value to me. <laughs> Mr. Rhyme. Pelipper. Do, do, do. Scooby boo. We've got Luxio. My wife and I, man, today we went on a nice walk together in a park nearby, and it is like 100 degrees outside. It feels like you're swimming in the humidity. You're absolutely swimming in it. And we didn't have to walk for very long before feeling totally worked out, you know what I mean? Because it's so hot that your body spends most of its energy just cooling you down. It's crazy. Been a busy week for me. Haven't been on the stream lately. Curious if you were able to ship my cards out last Sunday. Uh, maybe? I think I did. I ship a lot, Bryce. It's possible that the cards stayed on the table? If you didn't ask for them to stay on the table, I don't know why they would have, though. We got Scoop Up Net. Scoop Up Net. Toss that over there. There's Toxel Appleton. Oops. He says I didn't. Haha, <laughs> good to hear. Here we go. What do we got here? It's another greenback. So the other half of the pile is going to have all the hot cards in it based on this. Based on this. Set this to the side for now. All that bulk. Here we go. Second half. You ready? Time to pull secret rare something. Toxtricity, secret rare frost moth. I sent a bunch of those off to grade. I wonder when they'll come back. I wonder what they'll be worth when they come back. I'm probably going to sit on them for a little while and see how they fluctuate. Ooh, what'd you pull? Big Charm Secret Rare. Nice. So you pulled one of the gold cards. Beautiful. Next pack. Big Charm, huh? Interesting. Oops. Shuckle. Always a terrific pull. 100% of the time. We have Yan Mask. What's next? That's another full art. Full art Inteleon V Max. He's so sophisticated. <laughs> next pack. Whoop, for Shuckle. <laughs> we got Lux Ray. Do do do. Scoo boo boo do boo. Here's Sigilif. Three, four. There's an Inteleon V. I don't know what the best V cards from this set are. Wingle Vicavolt. Next pack. What do we got here? Charger Bug Butterfree. Next pack.
Lombre. Next pack. Oh my god. Inteleon V. Wow, you got all the Inteleons, dude. Now you just need Inteleon Secret Rare. What the hell? That's a lot of Inteleons. What do you think of that? So you got three full arts out of the box. There's Dragapult Hollow. This could be another hit card. Let's see. It's either a V card or a full art. Hopefully a full art, but it's just going to be Stonjourner Hollow. <laughs> You've basically pulled what you would expect to pull in terms of uh, full art, so you're good on that, but you might get lucky. That's another green. We got one pack after this. There it is. Ru Rune Righteous. I don't know how to say that. Last pack. And Magmar. Put these on top. Woo. Okay, so your hot pulls are going to be these guys right in the middle. I think this Zorak goes off to the side. These guys right in the middle. You end up with Big Charm, Inteleon VMAX, and Inteleon V. Hope you like Inteleon. <laughs> We've got Toxtricity, Bolton, Dubwool, Ninetales, and Inteleon V for the V cards. Pretty standard. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty standard. Pretty standard. Probably what I would call average pulls. Let's get these bagged up real fast. He's average. <laughs> it's not what you want to hear. <laughs> Lady starts talking about you. He's average. He's about average. Doo -doo -doo. Get these all baggied. So how's your Monday going, everyone? Anything interesting happened today? I want to hear your, your stories. Tell me a story. Once upon a time, Monday came around and... Shazammo. Give me the goss. Okay, those are all wrapped up. Mary grounded me for staying too late. That sounds like a simp problem. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the box along with your your uh, penny sleeves. Does the big charm look like it's worth grading? It did from the front. Let me look at it from the back too. Once upon a Monday, I opened PX and pulled Depression. <laughs> Not getting the pulls you want, huh? <laughs> Big charm. Okay, we're taking a look at it. I mean, it looks pretty good. It definitely has a shot at a 10, I would say. Yeah, that looks pretty, pretty much like a 10 to me. All right, if you do grade it, hopefully it is a 10. Okay, let me grab your bag. Looks like a 10. It talks like a 10. But is it a 10? Ooh, you got some other cards on the table. Let me start clearing these off. So you got this big old boy. Let's get this into the box. Do you have any others? How's it going, Jennifer? Michael M, Beck, Alex R, Ran Missy L, Nate M, Nate M, Ran. Oh, there's a hollow. Got it. Okay, put you in here. Perfect. Haley, another hollow fox. You were going nuts yesterday, huh? You were going pretty deep yesterday, huh? Oops, that's sticky. Oops. That's pretty sticky. look like this shipping time that's right I have to do something so I'll be back hopefully good luck <laughs> fix this up here back over there okay let's see where we were at after how a fox vicious would like one of these rocket mystery custom packs
Hidden Fates 2, says Bryce. Sounds good, Bryce. Bryce M. Good luck on your pulls. This will be the Charizard. Sounds good. Three, four. What do we got? What do we got? That's going to be Shiny Wimpod. That's better than nothing, right? Shiny Wimpod. Woo! Very exciting. Next pack. <laughs> Can't believe that's a card. A card should not even exist. Just teasing. I guess it's, I guess it's fine. Some people have told me they really like Galissapod. Oh, oh my God, you did it. You pulled a Charizard. <laughs> Just another booster pack on another day, and suddenly you've got the Shining Charizard. You know what's crazy? Somebody opened these yesterday. These were the two other packs in that tin, and the person who had purchased the tin didn't, get, didn't go after the other two packs. There you go, Bryce. Bryce is having a nice day. Woo! Bryce is having a nice day. Two packs, one Charizard. Sounds like a porno. Flip it around. All right, I'm going to call it as a nine, probably. It's looking a little thinner on the bottom than the top. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Probably a solid nine, if I had to guess. And who knows? Maybe they'll bump it up to a ten, but PSA's gotten real consistent with catching off centering. So, well, I don't know if they've gotten, but they've been real, real consistent. So this is a nine, goes for nearly $1,000. It's definitely $32 to grade this, okay, if you want it graded. $32 for the grade on this one. And obviously, you just send this off. You don't even think about it. <laughs> that is a very gradable card. That is the gradable card, to put it specifically. Woo! Bryce is like, I'm going to cry. Tears. <laughs> The person who didn't buy all four packs last night should be crying. Oh, no. I don't remember who it was. That was tough, though, for them. That's how it always is, though. Is fair, fair is fair. You know, when you stop, you stop. You never know when, when the hot card is going to show up. When you stop, you stop. Wow. Hidden Face Charizard. He's such a terrific-looking card. All right. Well, I'll accept that as a gift. Thank you. Tyler says, the one day I don't buy hidden. I know, I know. It's, it, that's exactly how it feels, man. That is exactly how it feels. The one day that you don't buy hidden. <laughs> TCC is going to make the, uh, the the live stream just cuts out. Oh, sorry. Where'd it go, guys? Oh, I lost it. It's gone. I guess I'll just refund you the $15 for the booster pack. Whoops. <laughs> oh, man. Congratulations, man. You must be very excited. You must be going, Mom! Mom, I did it! Mom, get in here! We pulled the Charizard! Mom! <laughs> Mom! Get your credit card! I need to grade it! I ran out to my girlfriend. You're too funny. So, Bryce, 32 bucks. Get this booty butt off to PSA. Is why I recommend. You should probably go out with mine. Although, you can tell which one is... You can tell which is which because they'll look different. So you can... Yeah, you can immediately see that mine's... Rocket mystery. Mine's thicker on the okay, bottom. So you can tell whose is who. See if there any cosmic trainer Mom! What's going on? So Bryce Pole Hidden Phase. Jaquez says five lost thunder and five eclipse. You got it, mister. So let me find a spot. Oh, let me find a spot for these. Mom! He pulled Charizard. Five Lost Thunder. You got it, mister. You missed the Zard. One, two, three, four, five. You missed one of the Zards. Who's to say we don't pull another one in a fresh box of tins? You know what I mean? Lucky roll. That's right. You get to go in the lucky roll. So we, you got to save this clip and send it to Mahasvara. So if you save this clip in the live stream and send it off to Mahasvara, he will add you to the lucky leaderboards. There's another Zard in the next pack for sure. Now, that's probably, that's probably not true unless it's like a mistake. But maybe in the next, maybe in the next uh, 
box, maybe the next tin case box. Maybe the next pack has uh, Cynthia in it. Maybe it has Tapu Bulu. You never know. Many of the Hidden Fates packs are very viable. So five of these and five Cosmic, he said. Bryce is like, what? How much have I spent on Hidden Fates? Tyler, do not think about it, Tyler. It will only give you depression. It will only give you depression. This Charizard, he does not pull often at all. He's like... Maybe once every 400 packs, 500 packs. So if you open, like, you know, even 100 packs, that's not enough. So do not think too hard about it because it's going to give you the sad real fast. <laughs> Just cry in secret. Tyler, you should have been here earlier, like months ago. You would have seen, you would have seen Mahasvara and Symphonia both sniping those Charizards right out of my hand. So it's just. A thing you have to learn to live with for the rest of your life. Okay, let's see. 